Hey friends, welcome to my channel. So today's topic of discussion is based on a requested topic which is The Pilgrim's Progress by John Bunyan. So in this session, I'm going to discuss some important information regarding The Pilgrim's Progress like the publication date, the main theme, the list of some important characters and summary, okay? But at first, we have to know that who is John Bunyan? So friends, John Bunyan was an English author and he was highly Puritan in spirit, okay? So he actually remained captive for 12 years, 12 years for the violation of the Conventicle Act of 1664. Actually, the Conventicle Act was enforced by the Parliament of England in order to suppress as well as prevent the seditious or the rebellious Conventicles, okay? So, for the violation of this act, John Bunyan remained captive in the Bedfordshire country prison. Okay, and there in that prison, he wrote this novel, The Pilgrim's Progress. So, now let's check out some important information regarding Pilgrim's Progress. We can see the full name of The Pilgrim's Progress. So, this is the full name. And obviously, the genre is Christian allegorical novel. The first part of this novel was published in 1678 and the second part was published in 1684. Okay. So, this story is presented from the point of view of both the first person narrator as well as the third person narrator. Okay. This is quite important. And this novel is regarded as one of the most significant religious works. Okay. In English literature. And... This novel is also regarded as the first novel written in English by some critics as well as this novel is compared next to Milton's Paradise Lost. So friends, today I'll discuss the summary of the part 1 of Pilgrim's Progress. Okay, I'll discuss in the next session the part 2 of Pilgrim's Progress as well as the character list, the broad or elaborated character list. Okay, actually this story is a dream sequence. Okay, here the narrator explains that he falls asleep in the wilderness and dreamed of a man named Christian who was tormented by spiritual anguish. And then after reading a spiritual book that is probably Bible, the person called Christian was to leave the city of destruction to the celestial city by the guidance of a spiritual person named evangelist okay and after various hardships he finally reached to the celestial city so friends as this novel is allegorical in nature that's why there is a hidden meaning behind each of the characters actions each of the characters names as well as there is an apparent meaning behind each of the events so friends here john bunyan presents christian as an everyman figure or as a representative of human being and this mundane world is called or this mortal world is called as the city of destruction okay so friends in order to understand this novel clearly we have to know about few important characters of this novel actually the pilgrim's progress has a vast character list okay so if i discuss about all of the character list in details here so it will take a bit time so that's why i'm just mentioning few important characters of part one okay but friends, don't worry if one of my next sessions, I will provide the full character list of Pilgrim's Progress, okay? So friends, at first we have the character of Christian who is an everyman figure. Then we have the character of Evangelist. Evangelist is the spiritual guide, okay? After this, we have the characters like Obstinate and Pliable. They are the neighbors of Christian. Then we have the character of Help who actually helped Christian to come out from the slow of Despawn. After this, we have the characters like Mr. Worldly Wise Man, Goodwill. Goodwill is the gatekeeper, wicked gatekeeper, okay. And Mr. Worldly Wise Man actually tried to divert Christian from the path of wicked gate to the part of a town called Morality. Then we have the characters like some shining angels, formalist, hypocrisy, a person called watchful, then faithful. Then formalist and hypocrisy, then timorous mistress, as well as some damsels called discretion, prudence, pity, charity, and other characters are hopeful, ignorance, okay. So these are the few characters. Actually friends, all the characters are important, okay. So now let's start the summary of part 1, which was published in 1678. So here, the part 1 is presented as a dim sequence in which the narrator or the author dreams of the trials as well as the adventures of an everyman figure named Christian. Okay, so Christian 
Actually, at first read one book named Bible and after reading this he understands his sins that he has done in his lifetime and thus after reading this spiritual book means bible he wants to get rid himself of this terrible burden of sin that's why one spiritual guide called evangelist points him towards a wicked gate he told him to leave the city of destruction and to reach the celestial city in order to free himself from the burden of his sins okay so thus as christian was leaving the city of destruction that's why he told his wife and his family to go with him to the celestial city but they refuses to come with christian and they also tried to stop christian from going to the wicked gate as well as from leaving the city of destruction but christian didn't listen to them and he started to move towards the wicked gate which is the first stop on his journey of deliverance okay so as he was moving forward therefore he met with his two neighbors okay named obstinate and pliable christian told them to join him but obstinate refuses but pliable joins him but soon pliable and christian stuck into the slough of despond okay they stuck in the mud of the slough of despond then pliable gets discouraged he told him that he will not go to the paradise and then he turns back okay then a person called help comes to help christian to come out of the mud and here the narrator john bunyan said that this muddy slough is made up with all the fears as well as doubt that arise in a soul of a sinner while he is on his journey to salvation okay then christian comes forward and then there he met a person called mr worldly wise man who wants christian to not to go towards the wicked gate and he told christian to go to a where christian will find mr legality and mr civility so here christian listens to mr worldly wise man and he started to go towards the town called morality but as he was going through mount sinai then he feels that his burden his burden of sin is getting heavier okay so at this moment evangelist also appears and told christian that do not go in this way because mr legality mr wildly wise man mr civility they were trying to divert christian from his salvation okay so evangelist also warns christian that do not do such things anymore and then christian obeys him and reached to the wicked gate and there he finds a man named goodwill and goodwill then shows the right path to christian to go to the house of the interpreter okay so after this christian reached to the house of interpreter and there the interpreter shows christian many things that how grace can cleanse away the sin from a man's heart and there he meets with two person called passion and patience okay after this the interpreter takes christian into a palace and there christian saw that some group of men were desperate to go inside the palace and one brave man fought with the warriors to go to the palace okay so this battle between the brave man and the warrior symbolizes the struggles of a man who wants to enter into the kingdom of god okay so so after this christian moves forward he started to walk along a highway with walls on the other side and the walls were the wall of salvation okay so then christian arrives at a cross in the ground okay at this point the burden of christian's back falls off and then three angels give christian new clothes and a mark on christian's forehead and a scroll or we can say a roll of a paper which christian have to hand over to the man at the celestial gate okay so after this christian again started his journey and in his way he met with three people called simple sloth and presumption then christian explains he explains the role of virtue the grace of god to two people called formalist and hypocrisy who were trying to find a shortcut to enter mount zion okay so after this christian 
arrives at the hill of difficulty here christian takes the narrow and difficult path but formalist and hypocrisy takes the path which are called danger and destruction and actually these two paths prove dangerous for formalist as well as hypocrisy okay so then christian in his path falls asleep and there he lost the role of scroll okay then after acting he met with two men called timoras and mistrust who told christian that they faced numerous challenges in the path of the celestial city and that they want to go back because there were two lions in the entrance of the palace okay but christian didn't pay attention to them and he moves forward then suddenly he realizes that he has lost the scroll and then he asks god for forgiveness and once again he goes back to that spot where he had napped okay and then he finds the scroll under a bench and then he again moves his way back up the hill then gradually darkness pertains then gradually darkness persists all over but christian keeps going forward and forward until he sees a palace called beautiful palace beautiful okay so there he saw that the lions in the entrance are chained up okay so now there is no danger for christian and then christian is welcomed in the gate by watchful a person called watchful watchful told christian that the lord built this palace so that the pilgrims could have place to rest okay and then there comes the damsels named discretion prudence pity and charity and there christian started to recall his personal journey okay at this point christian regrets for his previous reckless sinful way of life as well as he was quite devastated because he leaves his wife as well as children behind okay then from there christian arrives into the valley of humiliation where he fights with a monster called apollyon then christian arrived at the valley of the shadow of death though he was warned by two people about the possible dangerous circumstances in the valley of the shadow of death but with his continuous prayer to god he crossed this dark valley okay so after this he met with his friend faithful who was ahead of him and now these two people enter the town called vanity okay but then they were arrested and there they arraigned before lord hate and they are faithful is condemned to death and executed and he is immediately taken into the celestial city and christian is returned to prison but he escapes from the prison and when christian leaves vanity he is accompanied by a person called hopeful okay and then in their way they are caught in a storm and therefore they were cast by the guards of doubting castle and there they were beaten by giant despair at last christian remembers that he has a key called promise which he and hopeful used to unlock the doors of the prison and escape and then they reach the delectable mountains which was just outside the celestial city so now before entering into the celestial city they have to cross a river which is a test of their faith okay and then after crossing the river they present their respective scrolls then christian and hopeful are admitted into the celestial city then after them there is ignorance but ignorance don't have the certificate or the scroll that's why he was escorted into the hell so after this john bunyan awakes from his dream okay so this is the ending of part 1 actually friends here i discussed it in a brief way but if you read the entire novel then you will find each and every information related to the pilgrim's progress and you can also check out the great saver summary so okay great saver part 5 summaries i will provide the link in the description box that will also help you so this is the part 1 of the pilgrim's progress so see you in the next session with the part 2 of the pilgrim's progress